Hello everybody, Howie Jones here again. Foodforestpermaculture.ca or .com. Look at the bee action. Yep, I'm going to follow my friends the bee. There he is. Having a good old time pollinating everything. There you go. Whoa, I'm going to try to follow him around. Should be minding my own business, but here's it's the bee's business, so... He's taking care of my business for me. And uh, he's, he's an active fella. He's gathering up all the pollen and nectar and pollinating all the flowers. Yep, look at him go. Wow. This is one busy bee. <laughs> yep, wow. Amazing. This guy just doesn't give up. This is the same bee. He's going for it and going for it. We're going to try to chase him around and see what he's up to. Uh -huh. Having a good time getting drunk on nectar. Let's go look at this fig tree. This is the food forest. This is without the chop and drop. This is in the middle of summer. And this is a fig. This is a black or brown mission fig or turkey fig. And uh, I ate 30 figs one day off of it. It's loaded. My stomach hurt. There they are. Right sweet. Look at the sugar leaking from that. This sweet, sweet figs. And there was hundreds of figs. And this year was the first year we, we ended up with five crops of figs. Like that's unheard of. And look at the sweetness. Oh wow. You see the pink like sugary. Oh yeah, look at that. And here's another fig, this honey fig. This one's loaded too. It's just loaded. You dig a deep, deep hole, they have a tap root. You 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 don't want too rich a soil in there. You want them to you want some not very good soil. You don't want to pack in rich humus. I never did, and these seem to be doing real good. Look at them all. These are honey figs. Mmm. Honey figs. Feel like Homer Simpson. Mmm. Crusty burgers. <laughs> Crocosmia. Wow. Look at this. And Ostromeria. Wow. Nice yellow flowers. Here's some goji. Some tree rose. And we're going to take a trip through the forest. Here we go. We're going to go through the forest. And then you can get to see the forest floor and the forest canopy. And these are the pathways that I fill up every year and empty. And look at this. This is, this is a magnolia, an edible magnolia. And uh, this is the top of the forest floor. You know, I mean, it, it's really bushy in here. You, and uh, this, is, this provides... Uh, habitat for all kinds of birds even owls we have little tiny owls that live in the big trees here great at catching mice at night they have real good mousers the cat is a good mouser but the owls even better he's he, that's his job at night when the little mice come out we don't have any mice around here it's amazing the the, the biodiversity happens after you get rid of your lawn this used to be a lawn no, no more. This is a food forest. This is where all your food comes from. Look at that. You can barely see across the forest floor. And then we're going to get out here. This is a small, small, oh look at all little apple trees. These are all little apple trees. And little buckets on the forest floor. And it's a sugar plum. And look at how rich it looks. Beautiful. And all the diversity. Plantain grown and comfrey. And this is a sumac you make a nice lemon drink out of. Had to have it. And another plum tree. I love plums. Mid, early, mid, and late plums. That way you have plums for a few months, two or three months. And here's a grape growing up the cherry tree. We just planted a cherry tree. And the grape grows up it because uh, it's a natural arbor and then you have the canopy and it's nice and cool in the summertime you know, a nice bit of shade 
and here we go look at this blueberries oh they're not ripe yet but they look cool and the, oh look there's a butterfly oh you better look fast here he is there's the butterfly wow look at that it's on it's on the buddleia davidii or california lilacs is it's not even a lilac but people call it different things so that's just the way it is there's my butterfly friend there he is let's see oh he just took off again there he is we're gonna try to get a close-up oh yeah look at him i think it's a monarch if it isn't it's another one that looks very similar gotta get to know more about butterflies they look cool there this is a butterfly bush some people call it and all kinds of common layman names it's good to know the latin names that way there's no mistake it's, it takes a bit of time and get used to speaking latin words when you're so used to layman common words oh here's a butterfly again look at him go he's just tearing up the nectar you don't get to see this on a video but a bird comes and eats them later just took off with him a swallow i think of some sort just grabbed him and grabbed the bees i've seen them grab bees they just the birds <laughs> just played played them and took them away ball part of nature but unfortunately you don't get to see that but there he is again he's having a good time in his life there he goes there he goes up and away okay let's go see our row of blueberries look at this place this was a lawn can you believe that this was all lawn <laughs> not no more that's Camby's lovage look how big it is creamy white flowers great in tuna casserole Polish people apparently eat a lot of it there's my dead tree I planted and there's the blueberry bushes I like that dead tree because the birds come and eat the ants off of it and you put a little sugar on the dead tree and the ants all go up there and they're not in your garden oh here's the squash there we go we grew kombucha and steamboat squash and pumpkins and some of them went over into the neighbor's property they didn't mind they get to eat the squash they rather liked it look at this this is loaded with berries raspberries blackberries tayberries welcome to the forest you can't go wrong with a forest a food forest look at this look at the steamboat squash Want to hear a cool thing? I never even planted these squash. They grew out of my compost. Great fun, hey? They all grew out of the, out of the compost, out of the pathway when you put in your, your kitchen waste and then you put it onto the garden. This is the volunteers. Oh, here's a lemon tree grown by itself. Look at that. Lots of people don't believe that, but there it is lemons in Canada and limes and satsumas can't press the satsuma oh look at this this is a type of lettuce it's really neat it gets a big bluey purpley flower on it and it gets really huge it's very bitter it's great for the liver oh look at a bee in there look at this bee having a good time that's what you want mother nature at its best collect all that honey for me mm-hmm look them great awesome better than TV anytime I'm a little bored just run out in my garden my food garden my forest food garden big forest here's a lemon tree no nope, no nope, this is an apple tree this is one from Mitchell you might have heard me talk about it in another video Johnny gold apple from Mitchell's farm He's a great old guy. The whole family's great. Great people. Yeah, look at this. Squash growing all the way up through here. Look at the blueberries. My God. This place is a little under a half acre. Oh, got to eat a blueberry. Mmm. Blueberries. Great antioxidants. 
Look at this. More blueberries for Howie. Ooh. Lunch. Lunch, lunch, lunch. Awesome. How awesome is this? Everything you see here was grown from pits, seeds, or clones. Didn't run out to Walmart. Didn't run out and buy any. Oh, look at that big squash. <laughs> Just pure fun. And if there's ever an earthquake, well, you're set up with a food forest. And anything else life throws you. You know, it could be a pandemic. Who knows? Any type of thing. Oh, look at the blueberry. Oh, I'm going to eat them. Oh, don't get your fingers too close to those teeth. <laughs> but you know a food force comes in handy with whatever life throws you you always have your food and that's the primary goal of a food force is the sustainability that provides nutrition and a healthy lifestyle you gotta like your healthy lifestyle didn't come out of a store wasn't trucked 10,000 miles no carbon footprint zero mile diet gotta love it there's some more cherry tree and some look at that the, some cherry trees I put in there they're, they're, they're great 